guys, my name is Erica, and today I'm filming my first booktube video. Like, I never thought this would happen because I kept putting it off. It's been like three years when I said I was going to start my channel. But I'm here now, and that's all that matters, right? Right? So I decided that I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. I keep wanting to call it the newbie booktube tag. I don't know if it matters, but it's the booktube newbie tag. The booktube newbie tag. It's been on a plethora of booktube channels, but the original video was done by Brenda C, so I will leave a link to her channel down below. I can't believe I'm saying that. I have a booktube channel now. How exciting. And let's get started with these questions. Alright. Question one, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because I love books. Obviously, that's why we all start booktube. But I started it because I wanted to get more comfortable in front of a camera as well, because I'm an actor. So I'm like, this is a good way to do it. And I wanted to talk about books, share my love with other people, and all my ideas, and it'll just be, it'll be fun. I felt really inspired after I discovered booktube in 2015, and I was like, I need to start my channel. So here I am, starting my channel. <laughs> Question two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to the booktube? I... I hate this question. <laughs> I hate it because it reminds me of when you're in a job interview and they ask you, like, what can you bring to the workplace? Like, myself. That's all that matters, right? As long as you're a new person. But I think that's really the best answer because everyone in this community is different and unique in their own ways. And no matter what you do, it's going to add something to booktube. And I have so many content ideas that I can't wait to, like, film and post and everything because I just, I've had all this stuff building up, like I have this whole list in my phone about like videos I want to film. So I honestly think being yourself means staying true to that and following your heart and just doing what is fun to you, that's going to add so much to booktube. Even if it's just like the tiny unique thing, it's going to be something different. So I hope with my content that I can make booktube just a little more unique in its own way. <laughs> Question three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? Friends, you guys, I can't wait to make friends and like talk about books all the time. Okay, this is a nerdy thing, but I have like a fan Instagram for Criminal Minds. If you're interested, I can leave like information down below. I love that Instagram more than my personal because I can actually fangirl over Criminal Minds and like no one will judge me. <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel here. Like I can fangirl over all these books and talk about books and no one's going to judge me because that's what it's here for. Sorry, I just heard something and it kind of made me nervous. But um, when I'm talking to people in general, I ramble on about books all the time and then they're just like, cool. But now I actually have a reason to talk about books, so that's what I'm excited for. Question four. Why do you love reading? I love reading because as an actor, I can jump into other characters and become them and get to know other people and new worlds and I get to learn a lot, and I discover a lot, and it makes you a better person. Like, reading makes you a much smarter, happier person, and it's it's really great. Question five. What book or series got you into reading? As a kid, it was the series of unfortunate events. No. Not now. Sorry, my radiator is going off. I hate it. We're just gonna deal with it. Okay, so, uh... The series of unfortunate events got me to reading as a kid. My older sister read it to my twin and I. Junior high, I read the Pendragon series, which never gets talked about, so I think I'm going to do more videos on that eventually once I reread the series, because it's so good. It's so good. The Pendragon series definitely got me into reading. Once I read that, I, like, never stopped reading. Question six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Okay, so I guess I would ask, like, Jessie, Kat, and Christine, because they're the ones who kind of motivated me to start booktube. How do you keep things fresh, and how do you not get bored? Because I feel like everyone's kind of posting the same stuff. And like, how do you keep it fresh and new all the time? Question seven. What challenges do you think starting this new channel will be the hardest to overcome? Definitely putting myself out there and getting comfortable with people hating on me. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a part of life no matter what. Especially in the industry I want to go into. But that's why I'm starting here. And I'm starting now. I'm ready to get in. I'm ready to get hate. Y'all, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Alright guys, I had to wait till my radiator stopped rattling. <sighs> Alright, we're on question 8. When did you start reading? As I kind of said before, I've always been a reader. Since I can remember. 
I mean, since I could read, I've been a reader. Parents are really good about it. My older sister read to my twin and I all the time. I had a reading slump my freshman year of college when I first started. Like, I was stuck on the same books. I just didn't feel like reading. But now, I go through books pretty quick. So, I've always been a reader, and I hope I always am a reader. <laughs> I mean, it'd be pretty sad if I started this and just stopped reading. Like, I can't imagine life without books. Not at all. <laughs> Question 9. Where do you read? This is such a weird question, I feel like. I move a lot. I just moved into this apartment in Chicago, so that's exciting. When I'm at home, like, at my home in Ohio, I read in our den. We have this tiny little room. It has, like, video games, and we have our computer in there, and then a nice little couch. And Apollo, my cat, he always hangs out in there reading. He'll hang out with us. So it's just, like, cozy and comfortable. I really enjoy it. When I lived at school at my apartment there, I read in my room. And that's the same for when I lived at Cedar Point, when I worked there, I read in my room, and then now I'm here, I tend to read in my room, just because my bed's really big and cozy, and it's just comfortable, like, it's nice. The last question is, what kind of books do you like to read? I like to read fantasy, sci-fi, and thrillers. Like, lately, all I've been reading is sci-fi. I've tried to kind of step out of my habits and read other things, but I'm also really stubborn, and there are so many other books I need to read but I really like sci-fi fantasy and thrillers and I sometimes read contemporary when I'm feeling overwhelmed by how much fantasy and sci-fi I'm reading. I know that sounds like crazy, but sometimes I like to take a break and just read a chill, like contemporary, like cutesy, but that's kind of rare because I love big worlds, big characters, so yeah. That's it for this video, you guys. I can't believe I'm finally starting this booktube channel, like I never honestly I mean, I knew I was going to do it, but I didn't know when, and I just decided, take the plunge, just do it. So I'm here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up, and please subscribe if you feel like following me on this booktube journey. I'm so excited to be here. I hope I can do a good job for everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't really know how to end this. Everyone always has like a thing. I guess I'll discover my thing, but for now, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!